Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful princess ring. You might know already that I have a tutorial for uh, matching bracelet and earrings and you could see them here at the eye icon if you want to make the full set. You liked so much the bracelet that is why I decided to make more and more connected to it jewelries that you could enjoy so if you like what i'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and never miss matching sets tutorials and all of my tutorials in general that are usually two or three times a week you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials you could also check my second channel with the fast clips now we're going to start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using here for this video are super duo beads in blue color and here i'm using a2 beads this is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters this is size 10 beading needle and scissors okay so now i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back Okay guys, and I'm going to start my work by picking up one of those ATO beads that will be my stopper bead. Okay, I'm taking it, I'm sliding it down and I will go here through it. Okay, I'm going twice through this bead and I'm leaving here a small tail. Later I will put my needle on it and finish this part of my work. Okay, so now I'm picking up two super duos and one eto, then again two super duos. And I'm going to slide those down. If you have done the bracelet, you know that I started with six super duos divided uh, two by two with two atos, but now for the ring I will make a smaller ring band here. Okay, so as I'm exiting from this hole, I'm going back through this hole in this direction. Okay, like this. And I take just one ato. And I'm going through these two next beads. In this way, I'm zigzagging through my work. Okay. Then here, what I need to add is also one ato. Now, what I want to do is go backwards through all of those beads you see. In this way, I'm reinforcing and I'm also repositioning my thread. Okay. And uh, now as I'm exiting here, you see out of this hole, I'm going back again through the other hole. And then I go through these two beads in the middle. I go through them and then I'm going to take two more of those beautiful beads and I'm going back like this. Okay. Now what I want to do is add here one more bead of this super dose and how I do this I go through this ato, take one super do of course slide it down and now naturally turn it in this direction and then of course i'm going through its other hole to fix it through its empty hole and through the empty hole of the next super duo that's on my way and now i take one ato and go here now i'm going to take one slide down 
and go through its other empty hole and through the next bead that's on my way to fix it okay now i have the second row ready and i want to reposition my thread and how i reposition it i go here through these two super doors and what i want to take are two super doors okay like this and i go back through them then here through those two super doors again because i want to exit in this direction and reach the next two super doors where i will do the same thing i will add two more super doors in circle okay here they are going back like this then what i do is again a repositioning of my work I want to go through all of the beads in this direction. And the upcoming row is really easy and pleasant. I'm going through this hole here, adding one bead, then through the next two, then again I add one bead and go through the following. Okay? Now it comes the row where I add here in the center two beads. How I do this, I go here through these two, then I go here through this one. Okay, because my goal is to exit from this hole of one of those two beads, because in this way I'm in a position to add two more. Okay. Now I have this. Then the familiar step that I showed you before, I'm going through this bead, taking just one, sliding it down, going through its other empty hole and through the following bead. Then take one ato, go in the next super door through its empty hole and attach another one like this and i always attach this side to super doors by adding it sliding it down and then going through it their other empty hole and the following bead okay now it comes the row where here and here you add two beads Two super doors okay but first i want to reposition okay then i'm here and i'll show you faster now Okay, now I go through the empty hole of this bead and I add two atos. Okay, and from here on I reposition, I exit here at two, then add this side bead and this side bead and continue. If you want, you could rewind the video and continue from row that starts from these two beads and follow the steps and when you have ring band that's long enough to wrap it around your finger come back and i'll show you how you connect it okay see you in a while okay guys and as i continue beading i'm here at this step and i want to add two super doos going back like this okay then I go through these two beads and through the following ato. 
then again through these two adding two more just continuing my work following the steps that always repeat 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 and now what i want to do is connect this part to this part but now the profile doesn't match you see it doesn't match so i will continue until it matches how i do this the familiar steps Does the profile match now? No, it doesn't. So I will continue. Okay, I'm taking two. I'm adding them here. So let me check. Does the profile match now? Yes, it will when I finish my work. You see, here just here in the center, I won't be adding a toe because I will add this one here from this side here when I bend my work and finish it. Okay, so I'm exiting here through this a toe like I did before, and I will add this super dough and I will come here through the whole of the next bit but now instead of adding the a toe here that I usually do I will skip this step and what I want to do is go in this direction and reposition my thread okay and my goal guys is to exit here out of this bit in this direction without my thread showing that is why I was repositioning in this way and now I'm here where I want to be uh, this is only for the last, last step where I connect my beads okay now I go through the empty hole and go here and now I'll show you how I'm connecting them okay I come here and you see now my profile matches here you see and I will connect these two beads with these two beads here let me focus okay these two with these two and how I do this as I'm exiting from these beads here I'm going back in circle through these two beads like this then I go back like this and you could do it one more time just to be sure it's all tight and secure then when you exit here it's only natural to go through this a toe and then through the next bead you see how i'm going that is why i didn't add it a toe in my previous step okay now i'm removing this bead here i need to reinforce these two beads make a knot and cut my thread okay now let's say i'm here and i want to finish my work by making here a loop 
going once going second time through the loop I've made pull then you could repeat this knot several times when you're ready go here and cut your thread now take your needle and put it here at this thread uh, make again a loop and a knot and again cut your thread okay when you're ready i'll be back okay guys and now my super duo princess ring is ready don't forget i have tutorials for matching bracelet and earrings so you could try them out so if you like what i'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching and bye bye from me